Hey everybody, come on in. It's time to do a new warehouse tour. So it's been a minute since we've shown you guys the new place. I don't know how many of you have seen it, so we figured this would be the best time. Come on in and check out the new warehouse. New warehouse is about 80,000 square feet with a retail center of about 7,000 square feet. So let's go on in and check it out. If you happen to be down in Southern California, come on in, visit us. We'd love to show you around. So we'll, uh, we'll take a look through here. As you can see, pretty much everything we have in the warehouse that you could order online, you can come in and pick up in the retail store. So we've got a lot of stuff that's sitting out here from hats, mats, pads, elbow, whatever you want to call it. It's all here. Um, we've got jerseys, we've got bags, we've got head wraps. We've even got little displays of guns, M2s in there, barrel swabs, lanyards. We've got it all. Maybe more, you're more into the scenario style stuff. We've got vests, chest protectors. As we loop around this side, you're going to see that there is some skate stuff. Um, you'll see it a little bit later in the tour briefly, but this is also the location for Skate America. So we do sell skate stuff here as well. And you can find that online at skateamerica.com. Uh, but as we come around to the front side, you'll see that we've got airsoft over here. We've got more BDU stuff if you're into the camo. But you can come on down through here and check out the, the counters. Everything. Everything you could ever want that is paintball related. You can pick it up here at ansgear.com. Everything on the, on the wall from uh, Milsim style, more of a woods ball scenario stuff, all the way to your future guns, space guns. Pew, pew. We've got them. All of our from masks and everything. So it really is a one-stop shop for paintball. Everything you could possibly want, it's here. Um, so like I said, 7,000 square foot retail, that's big for retail, but it's nothing compared to the warehouse in the back. So let's go on in, we'll check it out. We'll head back and uh, show you what's going on behind the scenes. Hey, there's, there's a counter there. Let's go. All right, so for our first stop, right around the corner is gonna be my desk. So this is where I sit. This is where my tech guys sit. So anytime you would send in a gun or if you uh, had an exclusive color being built or maybe you had a custom uh, anodized setup, this is where it would get taken care of. Like right now I'm building a Vanquish. This is a acid uh, purple to green fade Vanquish that I'm doing right there. But this is where it all happens right along here. All the tools, all the gear, it's all here for repairs. See, there's some more stuff being built right there. We're gonna head into the gun room. This is where we keep all of our guns. Well, I shouldn't say all. 95, 99% of our guns, our tanks, everything like that is gonna be in this room. So we'll head down this way and we'll start from this side and we'll kind of work our way back. You kind of see a lot of overstock right here. These are just overstock of axes and minis, uh, mini GSs. But starting on this first aisle down here, you're gonna see die. Uh, you're going to see um, D3S, Defy. Uh, this is all dangerous power. We've got G5s right here. And the lights it should click on. They're all on motion sensors. If they don't, it might get a little dark. Um, some loaders, protons. All this is all first strike. These are all first strike rounds right here. Let's see if I can open this box up and show you. Got to be smarter than the box, right? There we go. Right here. So these are the... Uh, the first strike rounds, these are the pink silver ones right here. So you can just see how many boxes and boxes of first strike rounds that we have. Put that back up later. Uh, coming all the way down to the end here, you'll see that you've got uh, all sorts of dye from the dams at the end, some uh, rises. We've got some proto rails. We've got maxed rises. These are reflex rails. This is an older reflex. So if you're looking for a good deal on like an older style dial gun, check those out. Reflex rails, DSRs, and then we get into the Moss Air guns. And then up at the top, some T-15s, GX3 and GX4 pump guns, and tons of Moss Air right here. So um, if you want a die gun, right there. Coming down this way, Inception. We've got some Cockers right here, Predators, Hornets. Um, those are, you know, limited edition. Everybody's trying to get those. Coming down this way, let me move this ladder so we don't run into it. Just fold it up and get it out of the way. Uh, we've got first uh, uh, Field One and Bob Long guns right here. And then down to this side right here for these tanks, 
These are all the new Ninja Cerakote tanks. So you're looking for that coat, like the one I threw out of the window the other day. Those are all right here. So uh, you can check those out coming down this way. We've got some more tanks down at the end. Uh, those are GI tanks and Empire tanks down there. Valken tanks. Coming back up here, if you're in the market for an Impulse, the Impulse, I think, was a highly underrated gun. I love the way those new Impulses shot. So we've got great deals on Impulses that we still have. Um, gorilla regs. So I don't, they're not really Gorilla anyway. First Strike regs. Uh, and then First Strike hero bottles all through here. See how many First Strike hero bottles we have. Tons and tons. But when it comes to bottles, you know, Ninja's really the king. I shouldn't say that. They're not the king, but a lot of people are using Ninja bottles. And you can just see... The amount of ninja bottles that we have right here tons and tons of ninja bottles so if you're looking for a red one a blue one whatever you're looking for we have it in uh, all the sizes 45s 68s 77s 90s we've got the bottle for you once we flip around to this side over here this whole row planet guns from the cs1 cs1s we've got 1.5s in both the cs and the lv e-tech fives even exclusive ones, you see these orange stickers, those are exclusive versions. We've got Etha 2s right there, and also some older LV 11s. Just a couple left on those. G Techs, G Tech 160Rs, and more G Tech 160Rs. So tons of planet guns. You need a planet gun? Come see me. I got the gun for you. Flip around to the other side. KP 3s, super popular pump gun setup right here. We've got tons of KP 3s. If you're looking for a particular color, an exclusive color, we got you handled. KD2s, all sorts of colors. Evo 2s, all sorts of colors again. Evo, these are, these are EVSs with HUDs in them. So these already have the HUDs built into them right here. We've got all your color variations. LVLs, down to the end right there. Some older JT loaders, check those out. JT Revolution loader. That's a gangster loader right there. Flip around to this side, mini GSs, all sorts of GSs, Axe 2.0s, all right in here. We've got Resurrections, Snipers, Axe Pros, two rows of pros, and then standard axes. So again, if that's the gun you're looking for, come to us because we've got every color, even colors that nobody else has got, we've got those colors. And then the last gun little aisle over here, where the guns are going to be out and easy to see. So be our GOG aisle right here, or DLX. These are all ICEs, so one, two, three, and even some more at the bottom right here, rows of Lux Ice. We've got enemies, those are 50 cal enemies. These are Lux 2.0 OLEDs, so we still have a couple of those left over, of the, the OLED 2.0s right here. And then we've got standard 68 cal enemies right there, enemy pros, and then we get into the Shockers. This is the new Shocker XLS. You get all those colors for XLSs. And then Shocker RSX and RSX. We even have some of the HK Shockers left still. Come around to the other side. You've got some Tipman stuff. You'll see TPXs or TIPX now, I guess. Still call it a TPX for some reason. Uh, TIPXs, Defenders up there. Well, the, uh, Defender was a super popular gun. We've got Griffins, TM15s, some Refurbs. These are ones that have been factory refurb. And they go super cheap. So if you're looking for a, just a great basic gun, check out the refurbs. And then the Strikers. We've got the, the MP1s right there, the uh, XR1s, MP2 Elites, and the AR1 Elite right there. So uh, really a cool gun, that Striker. Feeling for more of a Milsim kind of gun. All right, let's flip it around to here. We're going to see a lot of stuff that is boxed up. This is all like smaller things that are going to come in boxes. Um, we'll kind of focus this way right here. So coming down this way, you've got uh, Zoden Chaos 2s right there. But after we get past those Chaos 2s, loaders. It's like loaders galore inside here. These are all standard loaders. These aren't R2s. These are R1s. Coming all the way down to here in various colors. You can see they're marked here blue. This one's Airstri uh, Airstrike Red. And that's gonna be where you're gonna see these in these aisles. And then along this back wall, Tipman guns. You see Bravo Elites, Griffins, A5s, X7s. Uh, deluxe sets of the TIPX, all that, all the way down this area. This is all Tipman guns. I'm gonna head back up this way. Uh, let's see, more loaders, more R1s. Although we do get into some R2s because they're double sided. This is a Rasta R2s here, but this is a die rotor, a die cam, just standard rotor, black rotor. 
Looking for a woody R2? You can see there's tons of them there. Or maybe a backwoods. Come around to this side, you can see some uh, HK, um, HK loaders right there, the TFX. Uh, these are LTR die loaders right there. And then more rotors, R2s, 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 R2s everywhere. Everybody needs an R2, pick one up for Christmas so we can get rid of all these R2s. All right, coming around this way. Again, we, this is back to the, the Titman set on the wall right there. This one right here, these are gonna be HK loaders. So all your uh, TFXs, um, anything, any possible color combination you could get right there. Coming down to the end here, you'll see against this wall, all Azodin guns right here. So from your Blitz Evos, to your KPCs, to your uh, uh, Blitz 3s, to your original Chaos, all the colors right here. TMCs, look at this, TMC stacked up to the ceiling right there. You need a TMC? We got a TMC. We're not gonna run out of TMCs, we got all of them right here. Got Empire guns, uh, some BT guns over there, Deltas, we got uh, Slice G36s, tons of them. This is the Delta Elites with the E-frame. On this side, we've got Cronuses. These Cronuses, they sell so fast. There's tons of them. So we got to keep, we have to keep a lot of them because we just sell a ton of them. Got some tanks over here. We're going to squeeze down this little aisle over here. These are, this whole thing right here from end to end, these are all Halo 2s in black. Need a Halo 2? Right here. This is where it's coming from. Back into the corner over there, we've got more uh, uh, BT guns like the BT4 Slice, the G36, the... Um, if you need a rip clip for your BT gun, it's going to be right over there. Omegas, BT Deltas, Delta Elites. Got some tanks over on this side. Those are like 20 ounce CO2 tanks. Nothing to worry about over there. And then coming down into this area, we've got some more tanks. All along this side, we've got Titman tanks. We've got spider stuff over against this wall. If you're looking for a Victor or a Phoenix or maybe an MR100, we've got those guns along there. And then back in the corner, we've got Resurrections and Snipers. So it's a huge room inside of here just for guns, tanks, loaders. Um, there's a ton of other space in the warehouse, but we got to kind of keep everything centralized for certain things so we don't uh, lose things. You know, we got to keep, keep knowledge of where everything is. All right, so we'll head back out, back past our tech bench again, and we'll head into a little room that's back here. I'll let you go in first. So this is another desk that I would be working at every once in a while. So this is the laser engraving room inside here. So if you've ever seen any of the videos that we've done where we're engraving guns or engraving barrels or anything like that, this is where it gets done. You'd end up with a barrel like this, put it in the machine. It's gonna engrave it and it's gonna come out like that. So another area of the store where you might find me or the warehouse. All right. So now we're going to head out into the big wide open, into the main warehouse back here. So we'll head up and down a bunch of the aisles. We'll go check out what's in there. I'm sure we'll run into a bunch of people hanging out. Well, working. I really can't say they're hanging out. Um, and we'll kind of show you just the overall size of the building here. So let's head down this first one. This one's got mostly like um, tank accessories on it. It does have some shirts but a lot of tank accessories. So these are all Planet Eclipse shirts. You know, this is how they all come to us right here. This is an Icon t-shirt. And they're all labeled. You can see all the bins are labeled with sizes, colors, what it is. And they're all to, or categorized together or lumped together. Uh, some HK shirts. We've got Exalt tank grips right here. HK tank grips. So if you're looking for a particular color, it's all, se it's all separated out so that we know where it all is. You'll probably hear me say that a million times so we know where everything is. Falcon tank covers. It's a lot of things. It would be easy to lose track of where everything is inside of here. More Exalt, Soul tank covers. Uh, Exalt, Empire Exalt tank covers. Look at that one. Oh, purple and orange one. That's pretty cool. Next one, if we skip over this aisle, we've got uh, gloves. From fingerless gloves to planet gloves right here. Those are the HDE gloves right there. Uh, to JT gloves, all the way down to the end. We're gonna have all sorts of different glove manufacturers. Again, all separated out so that you can uh, get the one you need.
On this aisle over here, we've got, uh, I'll call it head accessories, I guess. So we're gonna have a lot of pack stuff, head accessories, shamas. You can actually see all the way up to the top. It goes all the way up there. Those are all stuff that you might, uh, you might need from full clip, special ops, uh, Rothko proper for BD, for I'm gonna say beanies, BDUs, beanies, uh, headbands. These are all gonna be headbands. Can you see HK headbands right there? Coming down this way, more headbands, headbands, head wraps. HK, you can see HK has a ton of these things. KM headbands, Exalt headbands. Right there, I love their packaging on that Exalt stuff. Coming all the way down, beanies, hats, speed feeds. There's a whole section of speed feeds. So if you need an HK speed feed for your TFX, maybe you need a KM spine for your rotor, whatever it happens to be, boom, right there. Got it. All right, don't run into the ladder, Ben. Coming over here, this is gonna be a lot of uh, like remote lines, things like that, as well as lenses. If you get a look at these lenses over here, these are lenses for every type of, uh, of mask. So we've got profiler lenses, we've got grill lenses, we've got JT lenses, sly lenses. I guess that's called the annex now, I believe, or the identity. Um, so all those lenses. Remote lines, greases, if you need anti-fog spray in there. Fog dock, that stuff's super popular. All your Tiberius stuff, Ninja stuff is right here. So if you needed like replacement parts for your Ninja regulator or a, uh, a sight or scope for your Tiberius, or you just wanted a brand like a Tiberius sight or scope right there. And then swabs. These are the swab of the day right now. Blade swabs, HK blade swabs. Everybody wants those. We've got them. Exalt swabs, barrel maids, Planet Eclipse parts. Tons of Planet Eclipse parts right here. <laughs> All right, so coming down this aisle, Inception parts over here. We've got some uh, Warrior parts, Wrap 4 parts, DLX parts, GOG parts, SP, uh, Smart Parts Paintball or SP Paintball, um, all right here. So those are gonna be like upgrades for your Shocker, your XLS. DVDs, we got tons of DVDs. If you want old paintball DVDs, not really making them anymore because it's all just you know digital media now. But if you want old hard copy DVDs, we've got them. Uh, Field One stuff, Exalt. We've got all goggle parts right here if you want black, uh, black gold earpieces for your i5. Well, there you go. Violent triggers, die parts. Do go through a lot of die parts. You need a repair kit for your for your dam. One of the Arc repair kits. Boom, right there. Got it. Four grips, cam goggle straps. What is this one? I kill people. Perfect choice right there. Uh, CP parts right here. CP barrels, planet barrels. We're getting to all of them. CP feed necks. Let's see, what's in this one? G4 parts. This is all planet stuff. Look at all these planet barrels. FR backs, exclusive color FR backs, mufflers, uh, FL kits in all the colors. You can see there's tons of them right along there. Uh, more Lapco. There's all sorts of Lapco down there. You know, if you want the part, we've got it for you. All right, so coming down this aisle right here, we've got some old Shock Tech parts, loader wraps, but probably the most important part is this section over here. This is all Empire stuff. So, um, if you need a, a skew or a part for your Empire gun, you're your Mini, your Mini GS, your Axe Pro, your Axe 2.0, your Resurrection, your Sniper, whatever it happens to be, your Vanquish, you're gonna find them all here. Or for your loaders, any Empire loaders, you're gonna see that stuff over here. More HK loader wraps right there. Halo parts right over here. O-rings, there's O-ring kits galore inside of here. These are all right here. And then I talked about O-ring kits over there. Those were like individual O-rings, but maybe you needed a five times rebuild kit for your M2 find that right there or maybe you needed one for wow that's a throwback for an FEP quest we've got them right there so lots of o-ring kits um, to fix really any gun out there we've got uh, everything you need so coming back uh, we're, so we're going down this way going all the way down I guess let's uh, what do we got some more die parts 
We've got Kingman stuff on this side. Um, tools right here. We're going to loop around this way. All right. Getting into the airsoft stuff. We're going to go down this way. First section of the airsoft aisle right over here. This is going to be your Tipman stuff. So if you need like a foregrip or something like that for your Tipman stuff, um, that's all going to be along here up to this area right in here. And as we move past this one, this is where it gets into airsoft. So we're going to look at uh, some airsoft parts. Maybe you need a new inner barrel. You need a new magazine for your KWA gun. We're going to have that. And that's going to run all the way down to the end over there. If we look back at this side over here, we've got aim sports. So if you're looking for scopes, rail mounts, front rail systems. That's all along this section right here. Valken batteries. If you picked up a Valken AEG, that's going to be a perfect battery or, you know, any AEG, you can use a Valken battery. Valken uh, scopes and sights. And then we get back into Tittman stuff. So the Tittman's all kind of down towards this way in the aisle. Um, all of your receiver pins, shrouds, uh, it's all there. Um, plus green gas. Need some green gas? We got all sorts of green gas for you right here. All right. So we're going to kind of move over this way. We're going to go upstairs and look at some of the soft goods. But this area right here, this will be like our receiving area. So this is where trucks are going to come. They're going to unload their pallets. They're going to dump them all in the middle of the floor here. We'll go through, sort them out, figure out where they need to go, bundle it up, and then put it away. So let's head up, uh, head up the stairs here. We'll see you at the top. All right, now remember I mentioned earlier when we were in the retail room that this is also the location of Skate America. And you can see all that skate equipment that's out there and just get an idea of how big the building really is. So we're gonna head down into like this, this is the soft goods stuff. So these were all your jerseys, your pants, some protective gear you're gonna see up here. Um, so something like this right here, this is a Valken VTAC Sierra jersey in Woodland, a large size. Having everything labeled makes it super easy to find things. We'll head down this way. All right, now in this next time we got more Valken stuff. Again, some more camouflage stuff. Redemption jersey right there. And what do we got down this way? We got Valken uh, Echo jerseys along here. This is all Echo along this side. Crusade Riot jerseys over here. Move on to the next one. This is uh, GI Sports, so Herald pants. GI sports pants, all right in there. Glide pants down there. Exalt pants over here. T4 pants. These are the thrash, like 2011. We've got older pants. That's another thing that I want to mention. We've got so much stuff that we've got a lot, of, uh, a huge mix of old and new. So you're looking for something that's more budget friendly. Maybe a pair of 2011 thrasher pants is what you need. If you want something that's new and you want only the new stuff, oh, well, we got that too. BDUs. If you're more of a Milson player, scenario player, woodball player, these are, these are made by Proper. They are true mil-spec BDUs. We've got all the colors, all the designs, all the sizes, whatever you need. All right, so down this aisle here, what do we got? Dye. We've got dye tactical pants, dye tactical pullovers, mod tops. Those things are, are cool. Again, more of your Milsim kind of stuff. Right in there. On this side over here, dye board shorts. More board shorts, board shorts. We also had, uh, those are C14 jerseys down there. UL jerseys over here. Dust orange, lime. There's jackets over there, like a dye Sherpa jacket. We've got, like I said, tons and tons. There's some smart parts, or I shouldn't say smart parts. I always say smart parts. SP hoodies, shocker paintball. Planet Eclipse over here. So we've got, if you look at this, 2013, 2010, 2013. These are the new ones over here. So these are your Rangers, these that are on this side. But just goes to show you, you've got old, you've got HDE, HD Planet Eclipse program pants. Here's some hoodies, 2015 hoodies right here. Distortion pants, more rain. But if we come to the other side, I think there's more Planet. No, this goes to HK. But again, I'm trying to prove that point of old and new. We've got everything. HK, HTL jerseys, hardline jerseys, 
There's more jerseys over there. Sweaters. More jerseys, jerseys. Those are the 2017 hardline jerseys. Jackets, dynasty jerseys, hardline paintball jerseys. It's all here. Everything you could possibly need. What we got on this side? Empire 2014 jerseys, pants, prevail pants down there. Uh, and that's it. There's another aisle down that way. It's again, more empire stuff, but the stairs are this way. So we're gonna go down the stairs over here. Hey. Yeah. So as we go down the stairs, when we get down to the bottom, we're gonna go through the shipping and receiving area or the shipping area, really. We kind of went through the receiving area already. Um, so I'll kind of show you what happens with your order when you place it. So for, <coughs> excuse me. So for an order, once you place your order online, it's gonna get printed out. That's not an order. And it's gonna come over here. The guys are gonna walk around the, the warehouse, they're gonna put it in a tote, big or little, and they're gonna kind of consolidate it all down and get it ready for you. This is a FedEx two-day order. This is for Samantha right here. She bought a gun, a tank, and a loader. So they're gonna put that all into a box, or a tote, I should say, like we looked at earlier. You can see guys setting up orders on the aisle over here, pulling it off their cart, sending it down. It's gonna again that, uh, then get checked by another employee to make sure it's uh, correct. That's gonna come on down a little bit further. It's gonna get processed at these computers. And then the tote itself, it's gonna go onto one of the rollers. We're gonna send it on down there. That's gonna go down to the guys that are gonna take that order out of the tote, put it into a box, wrap it up, package it, and then get the label on it. So that's gonna come on down here. You can see all the rollers coming down here to orders that are getting boxed up as we speak right now. Everything getting into a box, getting ready to ship out. Once it gets in its box, it'll go onto the scale, it'll get weighed, they'll print out the label for it. <coughs> However you're getting it shipped, maybe overnight, maybe next day, maybe uh, just regular ground shipping. Who knows how it's gonna go. It's gonna come down over here, Larry's gonna process that order for you gonna get it ready and it's gonna go onto the toe or the, the dollies here and just get weight to get picked up by either FedEx, uh, USPS, whoever is gonna be shipping that order out for you and it's on its way. <coughs> Excuse me, a lot of talking. So we'll move out of that area and we're gonna go down these this aisle of masks right here. Now I'm sure you've seen a lot of masks. You've probably never seen this many masks. Every color, every brand of mask. You can see all the way down we've got HK masks. We've got E-Flexes right there, EVSs, every color. You can see how deep those go in there. Every color EVS, Pro Flexes on top, Valken masks, Flex 8, I-5s, I-4s, everything all along here. Every mask, I'd be surprised if there wasn't one that we don't have. Jumping over here, more I-4s, I-4s, Pro Fires, look at this, Zebra. Profiler zebras right there. More profilers up top. Uh, limited edition ones, Tyrion, Coyote, Scorpion. Getting into the grills over here. I don't see any. I don't see any uh, zebra grills left over here though. So those might be on. Oh, they're down that way. Is that that big pallet is right there? No, they're, no? they're already set up here. Oh, are they? You just can't see them. They're, they're covered. Oh. So we do have some profile or some grills and, and zebra left, just not many. So if you haven't got one yet, they're going fast. Um, this is going to be a paint aisle. So whether it be Valken paint um, or you know Defy paint, whatever it happens to be, all the paint's going to be loaded up on here. As well as up along top here, you can see we have Empire uh, <coughs> lenses for E-flexes um, and the EVSs. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this side over here, Nola Gay. So if you're looking for smoke grenades, smoke um, wire poles, whatever it has, the EG-18s, we've got all your Nola Gay uh, uh, needs covered. And we'll keep moving this way. Boom, keep on. Again, more paint. So we're just getting into paint. HK Army zombie paint, look at that. Pretty sure that's that glow in the dark paint right there. I like that stuff, or it lights with a black light or something like that, super cool. HK paint, uh, Empire paint, so like Evil, Marvelizer, GI paint, coming all the way down to like four star, five star, more Empire paint over here. This is all our boxes. You see all these boxes? 
This is how much cardboard we go through. Look at all those boxes. Shipping out orders, 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 orders. Just tons and tons of boxes. <coughs> all right, so we're gonna get onto this one here. Uh, we'll kind of just check this one out for a minute because we're gonna head back down and go the other way. But die alpha pods, you can see how many alpha pods we have. Each one of these, these boxes up here, this is 140 just standard 140 round pods. So uh, 104, I'm sorry, not 140. These are uh, 156 pods per case. So 140 round, 156 of them in each case. Just shows you how many cases of pods we got up in there. We've got Exalt stuff, we've got Inception stuff. If you need an Inception gun case right there, this is the large one. I think they call this the sniper case because it fits like pump style guns or cocker style guns that happen to be longer typically than your normal smaller uh, tournament style gun. We've got them for you right there. Gen X Global Tactical Vests all down there. Exalt uh, tank cases as well. Kind of the same case. This one is a, uh, this is a loader case right here. So those limited edition white loader cases. We'll pull a lot of stuff out of boxes just to see what's inside of there. Otherwise it would just look like we're looking at brown boxes all day long. All right, so let's move down a little bit further. We've got uh, Gen X Global Packs right here. These are anywhere from like fours and fives to vest setups right here. What is this one? This is, this is some Gen X Global case, although this should be over here. You can go right there. Um, what is this? Empire, look at this. Empire Goggle. This is, a, this is a, one of their giant roller bags. This is their F6 XLT bag, but it's got that goggle case built into it. Loaders of laptop bags right there. Valken rolling bags. This is that new meta bag from HK. This is the one that's got that USB port built into the side of it. Tons of those bags as well. Uh, what we got over here? Move on to the next one. Those are the new mini size EGs from Enola Gay. What is this? Back, big, large, nice tactical backpack setups right there. Bunker King packs, NXE packs, bandoliers. What do we got over here? Empire React packs, more Valken packs, tactical. This is like a drag bag setup. It's got a backpack built into it so you can just haul around your large size guns. Overstock for planet gloves, half finger gloves, empire gloves, and more, uh, more tactical gear. What do we got over here? GI packs. These are all race packs right there. Set around this way. It's kind of like uh, kind of like Christmas. You just look in boxes and see what you can find inside of there. All sorts of fun stuff. More GI packs right there. These are glide harnesses. More glide harnesses. What we got on this side? Valken Fate harnesses. Vexagon color. Uh, so again, this might sound redundant, but a ton of stuff inside of here. Look at that. Free flex elbow pads. Exalt. Thrasher elbow pads, T3 pads right here. These are like the exclusive colors. Like the white right there, the green over there, even red. All the colors. We got all the colors. Tipman packs. You can see this is just like a basic woodland four plus one right there. Planet pads, right? Planet knee pads, planet elbow pads. So many pads. HK, these are the uh, HSTL packs. So a Jack 3 plus 2. Um, zero G over here, so you want nothing with straps on it. More Planet Elbow Pads. Valken Elbow Pads. Empire Elbow Pads. What's this one in here? This is a Zero G Charcoal. One, two, three, four, four plus, uh, it's probably four plus five plus three, maybe? What are these over here? These are uh, Neoskin slide shorts right there. So that would be um, all of your, your padding. Obviously we've seen some padding down there. We're getting into more padding, more uh, zero G packs, die snow arm cards. So if you're into like snowboarding, they made snow, uh, elbow pads for snowboarding. Perfect ones right there. Arm guards, even made knee pads as well for that, uh, for snowboarding. Ah, NXE packs right there. I love my old NXE pack. Knee pads, crash knee pads for HK. Those are all up along there. And all the colors, we've got snow and camo and, uh, oh, still camo up there. Neon, red, 
a lot of HK stuff over here. Eject pod harnesses over here. I mean, look at all of them. Tons and tons. More GI stuff over here. Race and uh, elbow and knee. You see GI sports knee pads up there as well. And HK. Spin around this other aisle. These are all empty bins. Those are oh, extra bins. These are like uh, some of the, some more zero G stuff over here. These are the new prints that you see, like the HH tan. These ones are hot off the press right here. Come and get them. Primo loaders. God, we go through a lot of Primo loaders. Getting some uh, Under Armour cleats right here. All the Under Armour stuff is going to be in this area. Uh, more Neo skin. These are chest protectors right there. Mm, Under Armour backpacks. Let's uh, just take a look at here because we want to pop down that other aisle over there as well. HK sliders, Planet Eclipse bags. Look at these. These are the gravel backpacks right there. All sorts of the lights not coming on. We're not moving far enough down. Let's go around this way. We'll head down this last aisle over here. Marker bags, Earth. What is this one? This one is ice, I believe. Yep, ice. This is just gray or urban. So all your marker bags right there. You got over your Planet Eclipse uh, GX kit bags. Fire. What is that one? They're all fire right there. And ice. Look at all these. Look at all these Planet bags. Split compacts. I love these split compacts. Not as big as the uh, the larger rolling bag, but still holds plenty of stuff inside of there. Let's move a little bit further. 50 cal JT Splatmaster paint. Low impact. We go through a ton of this. That's way popular, that 50 cal. So if you haven't got into that, maybe check it out. If you've got kids or small children who are looking to get into it, that's a great starter for them right there. And then more paint. You can just see the, the amount of paint. These are all Halo shell kits that are up here. So I, I still use my old Halo every once in a while, and the Halo 2s are still super popular, and you're going to break that shell eventually. Shell kits, we got them. More paint. You can see Toxic. You can see Fate paint over there. WPN, Kill a Bees, Falcon New World Graffiti. Tons of paint. We go through a lot of paint. Swinging back around to this side, and you can see there's more cleats up here. So from GI to Planet, HK cleats up along there. Exalt cleats down there. All the sizes, all the colors. We got them. All right, so now we're going to go into our break room and see where everybody relaxes. Of course, we've got the obligatory three microwaves over there. Can never have too many microwaves. Ping pong tables. Just a place for people to relax and kind of just unwind on their break or on their lunch or whatever it happens to be. Vending machines. Little area with couches in there. All right. So let's head upstairs. I need to use my key card. I'm going to head on up the stairs. Go up and see the customer service area. See the video room where, uh, where we shoot all the videos that you guys see for YouTube. This is like the upstairs customer service area. Um, this first section of cubicles that you're going to see over here will be like the graphic design area where all the stuff for the website's done. Making all those pretty pictures, pretty banners. Inside this room, this is our video room. So this is where we shoot all the videos up in here. That's my chair that I sit in. And I talk to you guys about all the cool stuff that's going on in paintball. Ever wondered where it happens? Right here. <clears throat> now we'll head out and we'll actually see where uh, the customer service calls come in. That's going to be this next set of cubicles over here. These are all guys that are actually on the phone doing customer service right now. So you might be on the phone talking to one of them right now. You never know. These are all there. We've got a screen up there that shows all the calls that are coming in so that we know who's on the phones and who's getting taken care of, make sure everybody's getting done at one time. In this room, this is where we take all of our still pictures for the website. So every piece of product that comes in needs to get a picture taken. 
You can see they're taking a picture of a Lux Ice right now. That picture will go up on the website. And that's the picture that you see when you click on an item. That item's been sitting in that thing at one time or another just to get its picture taken. It's a lot of work to take all those pictures. All right. So that's our webmin stuff over there. Those guys take care of all the listings and all that stuff for the website. <coughs> and we'll come back through here. All right. Now we're going to head back downstairs, back to the end. Again, so the warehouse, like I said from the beginning, about 80,000 square feet retail space, 7,000 square feet. Uh, it's a giant, massive building, and we need all that space to accommodate all you paintball players out there. So if you ever happen to be in Southern California, we're in Simi Valley, right here on Moreland Road, come see us. We've got plenty of space, we've got plenty of product, and we'll take care of you as best we can. Don't forget, shopansgear.com. Thanks for coming along on the tour. We'll see you later.